Hello everyone, so I'm in Dollar Tree and these immediately caught my attention. I just think they're so well done. The little wood beads. So there are these two, I think I will grab one of each. And then they have some other little ornaments that are out. Everything is transforming to Christmas. I, I'm having a little bit of a hard time even believing that we are headed into winter. There's some wire wreaths here if you're into wreath making. The star is fairly new. I just shared a haul with you a couple days ago on the channel and I got some of the pink ornament balls, but I don't see any here. You really do have to kind of look through. They're absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see them, take a look. I'll link the haul down below in the description so you can take a look at what I'm referring to. They do have some new treats and a whole bunch of little snow globes. Look how cute these are. These are Laura Secor, which is a great company. I got excited thinking these were Laura Seacor as well. And then there's some Lindor or Lint chocolates. The little tea light holders. Oh, look at this. This is new this year. They have like the witch legs and now they have the Santa legs. These are miniature. They are plastic, but they're so well done this year that they almost look like they're made of like ceramic with a nice paint job. I think that they're really well done. Let's take a look here and see. Oh, look, there's some more elves in stock. Those sold out really fast last time. These are plastic trays. And then they have... one still has the box still has the little red truck see there are a couple left some snuggle and then you have the metal decals peace joy some glitter tea lights lots of deco mesh here some ribbon and wood cutouts oh look they Oh no, they don't have any of the ribbon I showed in the last store. This is like a tool, which is really cute. I love these. I just think they're so beautiful. So you've seen these little elves pop up in some of my other walkthroughs. One with a little skirt. Checker puzzles are back. I hadn't seen these in so long and I'm just wondering if I should make another one of those videos where I sat down and filmed doing the sticker puzzle. Some of you found it, I guess, relaxing to watch. We have some new coloring books. I love when they have these white pages. See, these are just perfect. Oh, look at the detail on this one. I love it. I'm just on the stationary aisle and I pointed these out a few weeks ago. They're very similar in style to the Happy Planner, which I think is pretty neat that they have these here. 
Oh, they have clear glue, which is awesome for making slime if you're still into that or the kids are still into that. And look, they even have colorful clear glue. Super cool. Okay, so I just turned around because one side is stationary, this side here is the craft stuff. And I just, I, when I kind of looked, I noticed that there were new items. This is actually a plastic bottle. Oh, I don't think this would last me very long in the craft room. Ooh. Oh no, I thought they were modeling clay tools, but they're actually a wood carving set. are felt. One of my favorite items in my craft room actually. The glue residue eraser. I think these are newer, aren't they? There's always so many things. It's almost hard to share everything that's here and share it with all with you guys. I bought one of these. I think I did. Oh my gosh, lately I just haven't been remembering things like I used to. I feel like sometimes I see things and then I don't remember. I gotta maybe look through my footage to see if I purchased it at the other store. here at some of the newer stationary items although I think we've seen the paper made a few times at different stores Let's see if there's any new pens I know sometimes you guys have recommendations so if you do somebody was saying that they like these I can guarantee you that these were just put out because the gnomes they sell really really fast And there's a little plate out there with the red truck with the new print. Oh, this one's cute. I like this one. These are a newer toy. I actually, oh, this one's a bear. Or a squirrel. I have a gray one in my hand, actually. I'll share it with you in a second. But I think he loves squeaky things. So his favorite toy is actually water bottles. But this one is the one I'm grabbing for him. So squirrel. Isn't it cute? I always forget that there's this little end cap at the back of the store that has a bunch of craft supplies. I have to remember. I think this is a great value. It's Lipton and it's black tea. What else? These are fairly new as well.
can someone let me know if they like the hands-on soap I've tried soaps in the past and I don't know I just never felt like they were sudsy enough so let me know and then maybe I'll try it depending on if there's any reviews out there so they have the smaller containers and they have these large ones see look at this that's huge refill for the anyways I want to try one of the Christmas scents so just let me know please if you like this soap I know some of you really love their storage bins, like these fabric ones. I gave one a try once and ended up ripped, so I never repurchased them, but I know that if you have some lighter things stored in them, then it's okay, but if you're storing heavier things, you definitely need something a little more sturdy. The makeup aisle. Let me know down below if you like walking through this aisle, because then I'll be a little more careful to film it in more detail if there's something specific you're looking or if you have a favorite aisle let me know down below i truly do not mind spending an extra few minutes in that aisle for those who do like watching these videos Oh, these are so cute for the summer. How sweet are they? And these ones too. Oh my gosh, look at these. They're fuzzy. Oh my gosh, childhood memories. Who got whacked with one of these before when they were being put in their hair? I can still feel the pain. I feel like I just hit the jackpot. This is all e.l.f. product and it's all new. Makeup brush cleaner. I'm gonna grab one of these. Moisturizing lipsticks. A highlighter and blush. Oh, this one's pretty. I think I'm gonna grab this one too. So these are new stickers and I can guarantee when I spot new stickers, I let you guys know because I'm a sticker freak, especially Dollar Tree. I'm just like, honestly, I know all of their stickers inside out. So these are all new. We walk down this kind of like the DIY aisle candles. These are sweet. Doesn't. Don't be the same, be better. I keep thinking I should buy one of these and turn it into a little cauldron. Got so excited. I've been into watercolors lately and I just, I have been looking for a perfect flower similar to this, but it has to be a smooth, shiny ceramic gloss. And it has to be bigger, but anyways, hopefully I'll find a larger plate in that style. One day. All the frames. I know some of you guys love seeing the photo frames. I don't really have any need for them right now. I'm not doing any DIYs. I know they're wonderful for DIYs. So this one's cute.
see this little dish would be perfect for a brush or even mixing a color or two. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to find an excuse to purchase one of these, but that one was, I had some imperfections. Let me find, I'm so picky. This one looks good. I'll put the other ones back. I think this will work nicely to mix a couple watercolors. It's a nice surface. Although I do prefer to find a big flower. Maybe one day I'll find a big flower. These are new. I actually saw these a while ago and I passed on them and now I have an idea for it. So it's coming home with me. Oh, these are actually new. I thought they were the, uh, no, they have a different style and they even have little handles. Look at this. That's pretty awesome. These are fairly new metal little decals. I am in, honestly, I'm just really surprised to see these because they're similar to what I created with the tumbling tower blocks and the larger vase, but Dollar Tree, I think, watches some of the things that are happening out here because, or on YouTube land or DIY groups and stuff like that because look there's the set so I'd seen the little white guy on the other side and here are the rest of them you can tell that these haven't really been messed around with so you've got Charlie Brown's Christmas and the Grinch and the Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas I don't know some of you might be able to see to tell me what's oh look elf there's one more yeah is this this has got to be the nightmare nightmare before christmas these are the pretty plates for christmas i have a couple options I'm actually going to purchase a bunch of treats now for Halloween, so I'm going to grab some of these dairy milks. I like grabbing some novelty type treats like the, the four or the two pack large bars. And I know Costco has the variety packs and they're a little bit less expensive, but they don't have the doubles. So I'm a little bit picky about what I like to get for Halloween and I like to spoil the kids in the neighborhood. So I'm going to go through these and grab probably a big chunk of stuff. This was actually right when you walked into the store and I missed it. It's got some leftover fall things, but I think this is kind of just the end of that. And a few oven mitts and some dishware here. I'm actually just headed out to the checkout so I hope you guys enjoyed walking around the store with me until next time everyone bye for now Summer is ended the leaves are turning brown red and yellow soon Autumn comes to
to show.